Alright guys, welcome back to Surf and Turf Travel. Today we are going to talk about the Philippines. Yes, not uh, a mistake. No, not a mistake. Although, it definitely feels like a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should change something. Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Let's, I think we're going to try and give it a little bit of a Philippines feel for you guys. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? All right, now we got our Philippines gear, and we're ready to tell you about the Philippines. We started in... Maybe. Huh. I think it's a terrible idea. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. I'm freezing. This Let's is like, get it out of here. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's a little better. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just, that just wasn't going to happen in Eastern Europe on the second day of winter. It's like zero degrees out mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Okay. But we're still going to tell you guys about the Philippines. I got to say, first off, that, uh, and I've told you time and time again, Philippines is my, my favorite. favorite country. And I don't know, maybe like in a past life, I was a merman uh, <laughs> because I spent a lot of time underwater there in the Philippines. But before we jump into the experiences that we had and the adventures that we took while we we're there we thought we would go over some tips about uh how to get there what to kind of look out for so we're going to talk about today in this video particularly cebu which is uh i mean really popular destination it's got its own international airport there and speaking of that international airport we were going to take a flight directly from cambodia to cebu but when we looked at the price of tickets from Phnom Penh directly to Cebu International Airport, they were like over $1,000 each. And the price to Manila was like $200 each with a hopper flight for like 60 bucks each over to Cebu. Now, we probably didn't do enough research on our hopper flight. We took uh, Cebu Pacific. Sorry, Cebu Pacific, but we had a terrible experience. Mm -hmm. uh, the I think the baggage costs alone was like three times as expensive as it was to actually book the flights. And uh, I mean, we obviously travel with a fair amount of gear. All right, do we got everything? I guess so. Oh my God, what did you put in here, bricks? Oh. oh, stairs. Good luck, honey. So, depending on how much baggage you guys have, I mean, you can check out the different airlines. Cebu Pacific is probably a great airline if you have almost no baggage, if you're just doing carry-ons. I think that they do have a discount if you book your carry-on baggage, which you do have to pay for. Uh, ahead of time and you pay for it online I think it's like half price but needless to say there's a couple apps that I recommend to check out the different prices uh, Skyscanner is a great one for airline prices alone Hopper is another one that I've started using recently which has been really amazing because there's an option on there actually where you can include baggage fees into the um, assessment of how much it's going to cost for that particular day. So I'd recommend trying both of those out. Try to find the best deal. You know, hey, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll find that direct to Cebu is going to be the cheapest, and boom, go for it. Anyways, we did arrive in Cebu, and uh, we didn't really want to stay in Cebu City. From from what we saw, it wasn't really up our alley and kind of what we wanted to experience. So we didn't want to waste our days there. We'd already spent a couple days in Manila anyway. So we got to see kind of the city life and, and get that experience. We wanted to get out there and really see some of the some of the culture, the smaller towns, and I, I think Mobile was a perfect place to do that. That was our goal. Yeah, yeah. We should say how to go then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. First thing you should go to South Bus Station of Cebu, where you can find a lot of options, but the bus we get is serious bus, big green bus. The big green, baby. And, <laughs> and you can choose bus with air condition or without. It's like half price if you want to take the non-aircon bus. I mean, it was hot and, uh, and it was starting to get a little smelly uh, <laughs> along the trip but uh, hey if you want to budget travel you got to make some sacrifices along the way and we should say about direction oh yeah yeah 
Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of buses going out of the terminal. Uh, the descriptions are not always uh, as precise, I guess, as, as you'd like them to be. Like, our bus route was, uh, which one? Bato via Barilli. Yes, Bato via Barilli. So essentially what that's saying is the final destination of that bus is Bato, and it goes via Barilli, which is West Coast, mobile, West Coast, on the way to Bato. Make sure you get on the Bato via Barilli bus if you are going down to mobile. After you arrive to mobile, you probably will want to go to your hotel. For that, you should catch tricycle or tuk-tuk, mm -hmm. which costs like a couple bucks. Yeah, it was like, I think it was like a dollar fifty, two dollars. So the, I think the current exchange rate is 53 pesos per uh, one dollar. And I think we got it for like 80 or 100 pesos or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they start high. You got to negotiate a little bit, but uh, you can definitely get it for. You may be even be able to get it cheaper than we did. We were kind of tired, so I was <laughs> sick of negotiating at that time, to tell you the truth. But we uh, we did make it, and uh, you know, I actually hadn't really planned it um, ahead of time, but uh, we found out that right next to the hotel that we were staying was a dive resort and uh, I'd seen so much cool stuff about diving I'd always wanted to learn how to dive so I started doing some research and found out that not only is the Philippines one of the most beautiful places to dive in the entire world but they do training underwater near the reef not in a pool setting which was really exciting they have one of the most beautiful reefs uh, in the world which is a plateau reef where you can see, I mean, well, I'll show you what you can see here in a few minutes. Um, and it's one of the cheapest places to get certified. I think I got certified uh, plus additional dives, additional two dives for uh, 18,500 PHP, which is roughly $350. And uh, and it was it was quick. I mean, I guess it depends on kind of your skill level, but yeah. um, but I finished in, uh, in what, two days? I got to do the, the video stuff at home the night before. I didn't have to sit there all day doing it. Uh, and so I, I came in, I was ready to go, started diving right away, finished up with the test, and then, uh, and then I had two extra dives left, plus they gave me another, I remember now, yeah, they gave me another two dives because I finished a day early. So that was that was pretty cool. You just were born today. I guess I guess so. Maybe I should be sir. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to be surf and turf, and then what would you be? Probably. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but anyways, I mean mobile is is really a beautiful place regardless of whether you're diving or not. I mean crystal clear waters, there's great swimming there. Uh, it's really just a relaxed feel, nice cultural feel, really, really nice people. Again, that's that's why Philippines is probably one of my favorite places in the entire world. The people are just absolutely amazing. But not everybody did diving. That's true. Not everybody did diving. Like me, mm -hmm. I can say if you are not brave enough, like me, <laughs> for diving, you can do snorkeling and you can see a lot of sea treasures. Sea treasures. Yeah, like, for example, I saw sea stars, uh, sea snake, a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. uh, so beautiful reefs. Yep. Sea urchins, the black sea urchins. Yes. Yeah, those are pretty cool. What about you? Yeah, what yeah. did you see? Well, first thing about the sea urchins, watch out for those, because those can be little landmines walking around. So make sure if you're walking around in the shallow areas, there's actually sea urchins there. <laughs> don't step on them. I mean, your sea treasures were very cool. Oh, yeah. But I don't think they can compete with the sea treasures that I saw. Really? I saw sea turtles, I saw lionfish, I saw a frogfish, which you probably wouldn't recognize unless you're there with a guide. You can see if you can see it there. You see it? You see it? Look close. No, really. It's there. I promise. Uh-huh. Yep. All right, I'll show it again. There it is. You see it? Right there. Uh-huh. You got it? Okay, good. And I got to see my first Nerf shark. That was really, really cool. 
Um, okay, okay, I'm jealous now. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're lucky, you can go diving in Mobile. One of the famous things about Mobile is the uh, schools of sardines. There's like millions of sardines that'll come in in these cyclone uh, schools of fish and you can you swim under and, you, and then you can go up. I actually did get to, uh, to see this. I am an idiot because I didn't look at the charge on the GoPro. And so I didn't get to record it. I know. But I was just it. like, ah, I'm devastated. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was terrible. Uh, but uh, I mean, the, the the experience alone was absolutely incredible. I mean, when you swim up, I mean, the the, the school of fish just moves like you move and kind of circles around you. And then you're looking up, and the the light is shining down into the water, and there the lights reflecting off the fish and you're just okay, like okay. I trust you. okay yeah no it was cool it was it was very 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 cool and I think at that point I was addicted to diving since that point since that point yeah which is why we decided to go to oh Yes. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna spell it there? O S L S L O. Improvising, I like that. <laughs> Do your little cheerleader thing. O S S L O B Oslo. Okay. No, really, it was amazing. Yeah, Oslo was very cool. So we wanted to find a bus direct to. Uh, Oslob from mobile and it was much easier than we had anticipated although there is one little catch catch bus <laughs> that's step one <laughs> catch the bus yeah so where, where do they catch the bus you should go to center of mobile and catch bus to Oslo which uh, comes every 30 minutes. How we can recognize that bus? Hmm, another very good question. So, it's easy, because you get on the same bus that you came from Cebu Bingo. on. Bingo! Yeah, Bato via Brilli. Here's the catch that I'm talking about, though. You have to change buses. So, Bato is in between Oslob and Mobul if you're taking the coastal route, which the route that it goes and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get off in Bato you're just gonna ask well actually we were just directed to the bus when we got off they were like blah 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 come over here there's your bus hop on and we yeah. were we were good to go it was really really easy in fact when we got on the bus in mobile we just paid for the ticket directly to Oslo we took the tickets when we got to Bato just showed the driver and he said okay good to go you can ask a uh, bus driver to drop you off exactly near your hotel. Which is important to note because uh, if you're going to Oslo for the main tourist attraction, which is to swim with whale sharks, then you're going to be in Tanawan, which is actually 10 kilometers before Oslo. And so make sure you have Maps Me, another great app suggestion for all you travelers out there. It is by far rated the number one app for offline maps for travelers around the world. I've been traveling for 14 months now and it's probably my absolute favorite app that we have. I mean, it saved our... Almost the one? Yeah, I mean, it saved our asses like... Ooh, 100 times. 100 times. Uh, so check on uh, Maps Me, add a bookmark to where your hotel is and then when you start getting close to your hotel, wherever you booked it, just show the bus driver, hey, drop us off right here, no problem. So we arrived in Oslo, it was fairly early in the morning, but we didn't want to jump right into, uh, no pun intended, <laughs> swimming with the whale sharks, because we wanted to go super early in the morning, which is when there's less people. I like to get up early, the light is the nicest if I'm gonna do photography or anything like that. Uh, so I booked my diving and her snorkeling through the same guys at the Patty Dive Shop yeah, there. at the same time. Uh -huh. And so we got uh, arrangements set up for the next day to go super early. But for the rest of the day, we wanted to go kind of explore Oslo and see what it had to offer. So uh, so we went into Oslo, main town. 
Yeah, we saw churches yeah. and uh, interesting architecture. Mm -hmm. Like old ruins there. Those and are very cool. And nature stuff like Osmania Peak. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we cruised around for a while before Osmania Peak, too, because we wanted to go there for sunset. Yeah. Uh, I remember now we had the we, we rented the motorbike for uh, oh, it was like 250 peso yeah. and so that's like hotel, that's right? like five bucks yeah we rented it in the hotel they had one there for us which was great super convenient mm -hmm. uh, so then we just went cruising along the mountains I mean there's really just like breathtaking views along the mountains the roads aren't great so if you're not uh, a great motorbike driver just be careful if you get to kind of sketchy areas maybe just turn around and head back the other way but I know that we had a great time kind of just exploring the villages and seeing there were, like kids outside yeah, and, that was and cute. Uh, people you know just doing you know their their daily yeah, lives and it's so interesting to see and then from the mountains we headed to Osmania Peak so if you were to go direct to Osmania Peak uh, from where we were staying it's about a 30 minute drive to Osmania Peak down at the kind of the base area where they have some places where where you can get some drinks that ma apparently make you super sexy. Maybe that's where I got the, the moves. <laughs> I'm sexy and I know it. Mm. And like 30 minutes to hike to the top. Yeah, 30, 45 if you're stopping for pictures or doing, you know, some some fun stuff along the way. And you will see amazing view. Yes, you will see amazing view. I really, really, really hope for you guys, if you go to Osmania Peak, that you get to see a sunset like we did. Oh, I was in oh. photographer heaven. I mean, <laughs> we were there for golden hour. There was light shining, just a, just brushing over the mountains on either side of us. And then the sunset is just a perfect little starburst out there of sun, colors in the sky with some deep darks. Better and then to the, show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, well, then yeah. say uh, about okay. it. Mm -hmm. A picture's worth a thousand words, like they say. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I can easily speak a thousand words. Just tell me to shut up. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, like five times already. Uh -huh. I think Osmania Peak was really a good choice on our part. Uh, there's lots of stuff that you can see around there. There's waterfalls. There's other peaks that you can go to if you want to do some more serious hiking. There's some some bigger peaks around there that you can go check out. Uh, I actually wish that we would have stayed in Oslo maybe a few more days to go see some of those things. But you know we had already had plans for other stuff that we'll mm -hmm. tell you about mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get to the main event. Mm -hmm. We have sharks in. Whale sharks. Okay, let's clear the air on whale sharks first of all there's all sorts of information floating around about the ethics of swimming with whale sharks okay there's arguments on both sides that's fair arguments against say that uh, we're domesticating these animals and they're not doing their regular migratory patterns which are affecting reproduction they're saying that the food that they're feeding them off the boats is not rich with the kind of nutrients it only contains something like four different nutrients um, they're saying that the the animals are getting uh, bacteria infections with contact from humans. They're saying that the animals are getting torn up and scarred because they're bumping into the propellers of the boats that they're getting fed by and creating, uh, you know, scarring on their face and, and things like that. But for me, I'm, I mean, I'm really uh, an environmentalist in my mind. I love sustainability. You know yeah, that. I'm I even. I even worry about how many napkins we use at dinner. And, uh, and so, th I mean, this is near and dear to my heart. The thing that really helped me decide to go dive with them was that uh, I, I had read an article and looked at some stats about the population of whale sharks in Southeast Asia since uh, whale shark tourism became a big thing. And there was a noticeable spike, an increase in the population of whale sharks since they started doing uh, whale shark tourism. And the reason was because now the Filipino people have been able to figure out a new way to monetize whale sharks instead of just catching them and exporting them to first world countries that want to taste super exotic foods. I guess it's perfectly yeah no and I think it's great and they I mean they really police those areas like for example I know for for my briefing the we weren't allowed to touch 
the whale sharks. Same about uh, people who do snorkeling. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You'll get slapped with a huge fine if, if you reach out and touch them. Now, granted, they'll bump into you sometimes, and that's, uh, I mean, you, you have no control over that. But if you're reaching out and touching them and, and causing contact on your own, Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you'll get hit with a big fine. Don't do it. It's it's just not good overall for, uh, for, for the sustainability of, of the sharks. And, yeah. um, and so, okay, anyways, long story short, go do your own research. Figure out if it's the right thing for you to do. We decided to do it. Uh, I don't regret it. I think it was an incredible experience. And again, uh, maybe there should be a new expression. A video is worth a million words. Yes. Pictures worth a thousand, <laughs> a video is worth a million, right? I'm sure that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll just run the video for you guys. Uh, here in Oslo, I'm going to do some whale shark watching. I'm going to do diving, she's going to do some snorkeling, and it uh, should be a pretty good time. Oh, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> are no words to describe how magical an experience that is. Unbelievable. Just finished whale sharking, so I guess we gotta do the review. What do you think? I think four stars. Four stars? Yeah, just because of it's too much people, but shark yeah. was so big and so beautiful. But you were snorkeling. Yeah. And I was diving, and there was only about four of us down there. And uh, there's no way I can give it five stars. I have to give it infinite stars <laughs> literally infinite stars it was amazing incredible no words to describe it ah, no God. words <laughs> <laughs> no words um but oh that was the extent of our stay in oslo i mean that's that's what we did uh because we wanted to get off and uh go to Bohol, which Bohol. yes, which which we thought was incredible, <laughs> chocolate hills and yep, yep, yep. more diving, Trezier sanctuary, man-made forest. God, it's just I can see it in my mind's eye again, and I'm just blown away. I love the Philippines. I love the Philippines. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that I love the Philippines? Three times. <laughs> Three times. That's all. I love the Philippines. <laughs> uh, but. We uh, did some research to figure out how we could get from Oslob to um, uh, specifically Pangalo Island, which is where we wanted to stay. Probably the most popular uh, Alona Beach is there, which has a bunch of different resorts, hostels, guest houses, whatever you're looking for. And uh, first we read we should use buses. Well, bus to Cebu City. But that's not correct. No, you don't have to do that. No, that's a terrible idea. It's, it's really like the worst idea possible. Uh, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to catch one of the little commuter pump boats from Oslob City. So there are boats that are commuting all the time. I mean, shipping goods or doing like diving trips and things like that. And you can just catch one of those for like 
I think we paid uh, the equivalent of fifteen dollars per person. Spent for, twenty minutes. Yeah, it was like twenty minute boat ride and. Boom, you were there. I mean, they drop you off on kind of a random beach where you have to walk out to the road and then catch a, uh, a trike or a tuk-tuk. But, I mean, no big deal. You pay another, like, dollar or two to get taken to your, your hotel, and, uh, and you're good it's to like go. Travel yeah, yeah, that's, that's definitely within travel budget space. Certainly better than going back to Cebu City and then trying to catch a boat for, like, two hours back down around to uh, Alano Beach or you know the big the big town that they have on on Bohol. But you know you always can just carry your bags and walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I mean, if you really want to budget travel, you could probably find uh, a lot of um, vines and logs. You could craft a raft. You could make some oars, and you could probably just. God, why didn't we think of that one? Uh, I know. Next time. Next, next time, time. Next time. Okay. Anyways, there's our trip to Oslob. And yes, we did talk about Bohol. And yes, Bohol was amazing. And if the video's ready, it's going to be right here. So don't be afraid to click on it. Uh huh. That's right. Uh, and uh, I think that's it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. So uh, did, did I mention that I love the Philippines? <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Thank you guys. If you stuck around this long, we love you. If you didn't stick around this long, we love you. We and love you. You're never gonna know it. Uh, but <laughs> if uh, <laughs> if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified when any of our new videos come out, like Bohol if it's not available yet, and uh, share with all your friends because I know that uh, they're gonna love it too if they love budget travel and amazing things. And the Philippines. And the Philippines, which if they haven't been there, they will love it. Yeah. You have to love the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to say something after that? Yeah. What are, what are we supposed to say? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. See okay. you. Okay. What are you still doing here? Get <laughs> get away. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. We're done. Go buy tickets to Philippines. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's right. Go start tracking on Hopper. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you in Boho next time. Mm -hmm. I mean, in our YouTube channel. Yeah, in our YouTube channel. Or in Bohol, because I'm going to go back there many <laughs> times. Yeah, maybe we'll run into each other. See you! Adios. Uh-huh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sexy and I know it. That was not very sexy. <laughs> that was like the worst sexy move I've, I've ever done in my life. <laughs> it was like... It was like Special Olympics <laughs> for sexy moves. Hi. Hey, hey. I am a superstar. <laughs>